Judaism, religion, beliefs intertwined with football skewed minds and moods in the last 14 days to revive a long-standing myth on the outcome of games across the various league centers. But the field always remains supreme in giving us a better representation of club preparation ahead of every encounter, irrespective of all other sentiments. 21 more weeks to go in this hair-raising 2019-2020 Ghana Premier League season with a tempo and dynamics engulfing the second tier competition, booting out seven of the big giants to spark freakish controversies amongst the porcupine warriors. Well, let's flip that slide to see if we 12 will awaken the days, hasten the rising to stand, the standing to increase their tempo as the race to the top gets keener. This weekend promises more edge of the seed exchanges, so stay with us as we bring you all the exclusives and blunt analysis on the beautiful game with me, Abigail Sena -Sophie. And a warm welcome again to the beautiful game with me, Abigail Senasusu. So away from the MTN Africa fixtures and week 11 of the ongoing 2019-2020 Ghana Premier League season with all its brohaha and a lot of talking points. With me today is a very good friend of mine, James Sowa. We are going to delve deep into the matters and ask very critical questions. Goal scoring, is it really something that we need to look at again in the Ghana Premier League? One can say that if Kotoko were scoring, we wouldn't have had all these problems. But the, 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 the umpires and whatever happened in Doma is another story to talk about. MTN FA Cup, like I said, in my intro seven of the big giants have been booted out what does it mean are the uh, lower tiers learning or the big guns thought that oh this is one they can just walk over let me introduce james soa we delve deep into our matters and we have a very exciting episode of the beautiful game james it's an honor to have you again <laughs> it's been a while it's been, it's been a while yeah, yeah. i must say i've been following the trail and mm. i'm impressed Thank and you. i hope the fire keeps burning mm. so far as ghana premier league is around we will always be here to bring you the best that we can on our own game because like i say we are the only ones that can make it better but uh, let, let me take your view generally on ghana premier league after 11 one of matches i know we've met at various league centers how yeah. has it been for you is it what you expected well um, to be very honest i think um I, I had no expectation prior mm -hmm. to the resumption of the league because we all know uh, where we, 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 how deep we sunk and then mm -hmm. um, prelude to the commencement of the season, the things that uh, pre pre uh, preceded. preceded it. Yeah. But I must say uh, I'm impressed. Um, mm -hmm. And if you are to ask me to give it on a percentage wise, I think um, I'll give it 70% um, out of 100 um, on a scale of uh, one to ten, I think I'll go for seven. Mm. So if you ask me, seven out of ten clearly means that we all deserve a pat on the shoulder and more grace to our elbows, to the clubs, to we the followers, and to you at home. Come and let's always enjoy those games. And then at least at the end of the season, I'm sure James will give us eleven over ten. <laughs> but a very big thank you to Sam Akuto for Mata ESK Collections, who always helps us with our makeup, and also to Big Depot giving us cakes, drinks however you want it and finally to golden hill soccer academy we always enjoy your maximum support on the beautiful game so james let's remind ourselves of what happened on week 11 i think that ashford got that one nail over james last year they understand beat kumase asante kotoko by a lone goal in that dramatic encounter <laughs> Indoma. Elmina Shark also beat Ebusian Dwarfs by a lone goal. Can face out again shared spoils with Legon City's Great Olympics, where the Messi of Bekum Chelsea will beat them also by a lone goal. Carilla United shared spoils also in um, Takwa with Accra Hearts of Folk. Inter Allies were beaten by 2 1 by Mediama SC, despite Victoria and Adebayo registering his 11th goal of the season. 11 Wonders also um, shared sports with West African Football Academy. And then Bechem United beat Liberty Professionals by two goals to one. This result, I, I know the one you are going to talk about first, but what, what do you make of match week 11? Well, um, I think match week 11, we had a smooth sale of um, midweek matches. Mid -week matches yeah. And uh, we had good run of um, results, but I think the uh, the incidents um, 
that happened at Doma yeah. actually overshadowed some of the good results that we recorded from some of the match centers. Mm -hmm. That's why I think we've dwelled enough on the Doma issue. Yes, um, it's, it's, it's a derby and we all know uh, matches between Kumasi Asante Kotoko and Idriana goes way beyond just football. But Dibs, like I said in my intro, spiritism believes intertwined with our beautiful game. Don't you think we have we had moved past all of these things? Well, modern football. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can say we've moved beyond it, but look, um, cultural differences, um, religious backgrounds, and socio-economic um, activities yeah. play a major role in football. Yes, you cannot take it away from it because we visited Doma a couple yeah. of occasions. We know how the euphoria is Their when passion. Their passion football is, football yeah. is in session. It's different. And you see, these two, whatever makes their game so exciting and so pleasing and a must watch transcends beyond the, the, 90 minutes. the 90 minutes. It goes beyond it. it cultural background has to do a lot about it. They are history here yeah, and yeah. there. So it, 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 it mm. adds up to the excitement and it gives up a match, watching match, matches when it comes to the yeah. two sides. But I think what happened on March the 11th, they, they pushed beyond their limits and I think uh, we must stand firm and really say no, this student have uh, the headlines yeah, when it comes to the This is at a point in our visit. Our reps and the African continent. African continent. It's a big volume. You have a whole uh, former national team coach handling one of the sites, and you ask yourself, really? And the game, you see, the, the, the sad aspect of the whole thing is that the game was live on TV. And even before kickoff, we had over 30,000 people watching the game online. That should tell you the magnitude of the game. So we, we ought to get everything right. Take it or leave it. Kotoko always commands the numbers. And so Certainly. They, they, should, they should have had that at Certainly. the back of their mind. Um, we should have used that game as an advice, uh, advertising tool yeah. for the Ghana Premier League. But what did we do? We actually let our guards down and we followed um, superstitious kind of beliefs. <laughs> and yes, uh, you can put it out with sentiments and emotions to take the better, better part of the game but that notwithstanding i think the game itself um, first half was a bit um, slow but yeah. the second half the game picked up and we witnessed a good uh, game one thing about week 11 coincidentally i think before the league got truncated i had an episode on a beautiful game with james and it was after when Karela United beat Akka Hearts of Hope by three, three goals to one. Three goals to one. Uh, yeah. 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 And today here yeah, we are talking about that fixture where Hearts of Hope were able to come back to Akka with a point. With a point. Uh, I think it's, it's a huge point for Akka Hearts of Hope. Uh, when you look at Akka Hearts of Hope currently, they are playing very well. They, 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 they have their fundamentals right, the basis well covered their issue is how to put the, the ball at the back of the net that has been the bane of a crowd so folk after odum took charge but um yes in as much as we clapped for them for coming back to accra with a point we should also bear in mind that karela did not play at their favorite camp park they played at anon complex uh, park in takwa so the the, the fortress that Accra crowds so folk visited is not the one that but Bawa can, so can also hold beef and argue for Akka Hearts of Hope that that is the same venue where they got beaten by three goals. So to have gone back and make sure no goal entered their net, that was a plus for them. No, you see, Akka Hearts of Hope got beat 3 0 by, by Midyama at the Mid same ground. If you are talking about the ground, no, we should not forget that Midyama are also tagged as favorites to win the league. Yeah. And we know how they started the season mm -hmm. high flying. But the argument here is. You were talking about the fact that that is not the same grounds that Karela will say, okay, this is my home and so I can do everything I want. I'm also saying that that is a ground Heart of Folk would have said that, okay, I've been beating it three here before. And mm -hmm. so it's possible that anybody can tell me I don't know this place and so would beat me again. Yeah. But here they went and they made sure it didn't happen again. Why don't we give them the plus? No, you see, yes, I'm giving Accra Heart of Folk the plus because when they got beaten by um, Media Ma, that was, uh, I think, Odum's first game in charge as the interim coach yeah. and you could feel or you could see that they were now trying to find their feet they mm -hmm. were now trying to be get at, uh, 
adapt Odum style and yeah. system of play, moving away from the grand style and system yeah. of play. So yes, it was bound to happen. Mm. But after that game, Accra to folk are yet sure. to get more more than three goals. Okay. Uh, Goal scoring is something we'll, 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 talk, we'll talk about later, but let's see the standings and let's remind ourselves of our clubs after week 11. The top six has changed. Our famous people have dropped and Ashgold is now in charge of our league standing with 21 points. Media Messi refused to be out of the top six and are second on 20 points. Ediana Stars dropped to the third spot also on 20 points. Brekum Chelsea, beating or not, are still fourth on 20 points. Kumasi Asante Kotoko are now fifth on 18 points. Bechem United now occupy the sixth spot on 17 points. Elmina Sharks on the quiet are gradually moving up and are seventh on 17 points. West African Football Academy lost their place in the top six and are eighth on 16 points. Accra had to folk are ninth with 16 points. Dreams FC left the top four straight to the tenth spot and are, uh, are tenth with 14 points. Inter Allies also occupy 11th spot just as their top goal scorer with 11 goals on 14 points. 11 Wonders are 12th on 14 points. Liberty Professionals are 13th with 13 points. Legon Cities are also 14th on the log with 12 points. Great Olympics are 15th with 11 points. Carilla United drop to the relegation zone and are 16th with 10 points. Ebusian Dwarfs struggling and are still 17th on 10 points. And Kin Faisal are 18th on 5 points. James, quickly, the league standings, this is where we are after week 11. Well, I think the only surprise inclusion there is Brecum Chelsea. And uh, surprisingly, they, they've been able, they've not lost to any of the, I think, uh, on the road, mm -hmm. they, they beat Kumasa, Santi Kotoko, they, they beat, beat Accra, Accra folk, and then uh, they went to Obwasi of all places yeah. to beat uh, Ashgo. So that should tell you that they, they really mean business. So mm -hmm. I think they are the surprise. Su surprise uh, okay, inclusion yeah. the, yes at the top uh, six but um surprisingly my darling club are crawling their way to the top six um i think we are in for a very a very good uh, season and we are going to witness a very strong uh, end to 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 the season mm, ready or not that is an interesting bit of the ghana premier league however you wanted 90 minutes clearly can determine your fate on the league log but as it goes by let's see how they pick it up a very big thank you once again to salma kutor for my attack today to esk collections and also Golden Hill Soccer Academy. Away from midweek, the weekend brought us some interesting matches and the ongoing MTN FA Cup tagged Obian Yobia and indeed they saw seven out of our 18 clubs being booted out of the 64th round. Let's see the Premier League sides that have survived this competition. As it stands now, Techiman 11 Wonders, Kumasi Asante Kotoko, Diana Stars, Carrillo United, Bekum Chelsea, Inter Allies and the Busian Dwarves are not going to be a part of the round of 32. Breaking it down to 11 Premier League clubs, 16 Division 1 clubs and 5 Division 2 clubs to continue to the next round of the MTN FA Cup. James, Obia and Obia. Well, um, <laughs> as the slogan uh, suggests, I think, um, yes, over the past few years, um, I think since uh, uh, Nania FC, mm -hmm. Abed Pelis Nania FC One. won, they yeah. really showed the lower division tier sites that look. Uh, we can have a go yeah. at the Premier League sites. And I think it's refreshing to see some of the lower uh, division sites against... Um, but look, looking at the, 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 the clubs that are out, someone will argue that what happened to Interlice, who are telling everybody they have a goal scoring machine, Ebusia Dwarfs, Kumase Asante Kotoko, Adriana Stars, Carilla United, these are sites that have competed keenly for the yeah, yeah. trophy before. Yeah, I, I think, um, it, um, to be fair to Inter Allies, I watched their game against Legon Cities. I mm -hmm. think they played marvelously well. They rested almost an entire squad. Okay. Victoria Adebayo was not even on the on the bench for them. Samolama and Co. they were not in the squad. They changed. I think they changed the entire squad. Uh, they gave uh, Legon City a run for their money. First half ended 1-0 and then mm -hmm. Uh, late on before uh, Legon City uh, got two goals to really uh, put the game to bed. But um, that notwithstanding the fact that um, I think Inter Allies want to concentrate more on the Premier League because uh, they are currently battling relegation. So okay. it's a good thing to do. But the central conversation will be 
Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Unfortunately, when you have the headline sponsor of the competition, also as your sponsor, yes, yeah. and you get to go out at this point. Is that not what is causing all this noise? I, 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 know, I, I think by now the, the sponsors will be fuming because last um, two years, they really uh, gave their sponsors a very good that mileage is, yes. by running all the way to the finals and then winning it against mm. Accra Hearts of Folk. But this season, I think they, they, re, they relaxed. They were a bit um, overconfident ahead of the game because yeah, they know it's a done deal. Because uh, for people that are watching us, uh, Kumasi Asante Kotoko, they've been playing a regular friendly games against Asukwa Deportivo yeah. at the Ajako Park almost Every like, month or every two like, months, they yeah. playing them, so they know them inside out. So I was so so sure of Kumasi Asante going through, but I think they were a bit overconfident, and that cost them their place in the round of uh, 30, 32. Okay. So let, let's look at this briefly. We are going to talk about uh, goal scoring. A lot of questions has been asked. James, you are with GHP Alive, so I'm sure you will get me on track if my records <laughs> are not right. But Kumasi and Santi Kotoko in their last five Premier League games have just scored just once. And that is an own goal against my Abdul, Abdul Bashir or something. Yeah, but Abdul you Bashir. mistakenly Abdul. gave them that, that one to take to Kumasi. And then you yeah, we have to Kadipotivo punish them on a neutral ground if you if you'd ask me. Um two over two hundred goals in the Premier League after week 11, giving us um, two goals per game. Yes, and you are saying it's good because you are the expert. And so <laughs> if you tell me two, two goals per game after 11 rounds and it's okay, then there's no, there's no reason to feel if the, these clubs are not scoring, especially you have to hope. Yes, um, but you, you look at uh, previous seasons, mm. uh, the likes of Akara to go, Kumasa, and Tukotoko. Uh, Indiana and then um, Midyama and then Ashgold, they they make sure that we have a good averaging when it comes to uh, goal per game. Mm. But this season, it's not them. It's they not are not giving way. us the uh, average goal per game uh, when it comes to the uh, uh, James, I, I want to match this, days. I want to ask a quick question. When you watch this game, as, as an expert in your field or someone who loves the game, and you see some chances that are being misplaced. Yeah. The, the, the big question then is, is goal scoring length, or you just need to know it? Should it be everything your coach imbibes in you? That question I'll come back and ask. But we got closer to a veteran in the game, started with um, Kumasi based in face out, and learned from the strikers he met in that side. And he says it really helped him when he joined one of the biggest um, that is a car hard to folk. And now with Dreams FC, still scoring. And just a reminder, he got the two goals for Dreams FC against Fire Rangers, making sure that Dreams FC progressed to the next round of the MTN FA Cup. Eric Gau tells us that goal scoring is learned and also dependent on who you learn from. We started from Kus. I'm the ball, King Faisal. From King Faisal, I'm the Bahas. It's more confused and I'm doing a starting APA. Who started ball as a striker? Yeah, I started as a, I born as a winger. To strike until one day being a dream, but two striking. Now my car was striking. I was confused and I said, I'm going to swim. I was going to swim. I was going to swim. I was going to swim from confused and I'm going to be a bass. To me, I was going to be a bass. I said, boy, no, one is 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 with two minutes to one. It's a only discipline. We need to be more I call out for human respect. I be a new be a kind of more people. We are calling out. We should be being our. We should sometimes we call out. We should be a few more. Now we be a comedian. To who should be missing? Missing? And I'm missing. The achievement. Touch me up. Time out, Kadula. Ah, Hamaese, Joffi, Shelton, Eric, Gao. The match that he was in, he was in the match. 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 He was
נתנה לאשקלון להניע את הדו באמצע, בסופו של דבר, מנטש... אריק קאוטרון, הפרס גלאריה, אנוי ניג'אן ספורט סטדיום, תלווי את הנוער, עם שתי מינים לתת פרסידנט, אקרו חצה פורט. ואיזה פילי צפורט, כמו שאני אמרתי, הוא יכול להשתמש בראי עד הלב פלנק, אין דבר דליברי, אינטו לפורט של אריק גאו. You're still on a beautiful game with me, Abigail Sena Sosu, and I'm here with Jim Sowa of GHP Your Life and also another anti lover and follower of our Ghana Premier League. James, so there you have it. So now you can answer. I think that that was giving me the answer. Yeah, well, the thing is, um, scoring is it's an act. Okay. And then to be a, a good scorer or to be a great striker, mm -hmm. you must rehearse over and over and over again. You see, you have to, you have to practice. You see, you, don't, you, you just don't depend solely on what you do on the training grounds. Mm -hmm. For all you know, your, your coach was never a striker, mm -hmm. neither a midfielder, probably a defender. So, yes, he's got the dynamics, you know the system, you know the formation. But you also have to learn the craft, the art of scoring. You also have to learn. You see, I listen. I watched a documentary of Brazilian Ronaldo, and he says even wherever he stands, mm -hmm. with his back against the, the goalkeeper, he knows exactly where the goalkeeper is standing because he is taking his time to learn the dynamics of scoring, where the goalkeeper should be. Because goalkeepers strive on calculations. Yeah. Wherever the ball is, and the number of steps and the number of movement they have to make, mm -hmm. so they have to learn. They practice that if I put the, I place the ball here without even looking, I know I hit the back of the net. All things being equal, mm -hmm. so I think Gao nailed it. But ah, uh, strikers here, excuse me, some are really lazy. They have to work extra hard to be able to hit the, the double figures, season in, season out. It's 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 rather. Unfortunately, that for a long stretch of time, we've not been able to replace the Ishmaelados, the Joe family, the Mahatma Otus, and Co. The Dada Bortes, because the current crop of strikers we have don't go the extra mile to make sure that they learn the act of scoring. And I, I, I hope a lot of people, a lot of strikers who are watching this program, who pick a cue from Eric Gaugatete. So James says that all you need to do is just learn from those that you meet and also make time for yourself to learn. Talking about um, goal scorers and top scorers for clubs, Beautiful Games Initiative took us to Dan Soman um, during the week and we, we had to celebrate Liberty's top scorer. Elvis Cheba for who also, like I said, gives us a reason to always want to watch the Ghana Premier League. He's paid his dues and so for us here, we decided that for the month of February, he had his, his birthday earlier this month, we, we paid them a visit at their gym in their clubhouse. And it was an eventful morning, if you ask me. I looked, I, I looked at how they celebrated with the cake, the appreciation of the individual, and realized that it's a matter of teamwork. And it, it sparked some, some energy, and I thought that it, it was something good to, to witness that morning. Uh -huh. What happens is we started the initiative this year to at least celebrate um, our players as the month goes by. So we started with um, Legon Cities last month, Max Solopon, and then this month um, we decided to come to Liberty. And uh, not just to Liberty, but to celebrate one of the many players that makes us want to watch the Premier League. I yeah, think that yeah. his paid is due to the game. And so we, we just want to say we appreciate him in our own small way and wish him the very best ahead in the years to come. So beautiful game on behalf of a very good friend of mine who works with Big Depot, actually. She's a CEO. Big does this nice cake and give us this drink. Wow. And this portrait, so we give to Elvis. Wow. 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 Wow.
about that one back door but um kudos to you and your team thank uh, you for a wonderful work done i think this is the first of its kind this, yeah yes. but for the and second club yes i i i hope this continues and i i plead on the uh, corporate entities that are watching that they should be on board this is a nice gesture at least so our boys will know that we are with them it. and we appreciate whatever they are doing um for the ghana premier league and it's also a part at the back that look go up there and keep shining and we are grateful for the beautiful game for this guest job thank you very much james i feel like i'm the celebrant i'm feeling happy <laughs> right now but it's good to know that people are watching actually and then a very big thank you to melissa Daku of big depot she made that happen and we are grateful for coming on board to help us celebrate uh, individuals that give us good games week in, week out. Week 12 is here and Kumasi Asante Kotoko just fails to be off the news. They are coming to Accra, their new home grounds, to play Bechem United on Friday. Seven us Friday night football for some of us. We just want Friday night football and so we are happy with that one. And then on Saturday, the honor starts to be up the hills to play Dream FC, West African Football Academy will square it off with Ashanti Gold. The Bushnia Dwarves welcome into allies to Cape Coast. Bekum Chelsea will play struggling can face us. Liberty Professionals also will play Carilla United. Aka Hard to Folk will also welcome Elvina Sharks to the Accra Sports Stadium. And then on Monday, Mediama SC will play Great Olympics. Let's not forget that Legon Cities also will welcome 11 Wonders. James, week 12 is here. However it came, we are going to have Friday Night Football. Um, me personally, the data I collect data on the Ghana Premier League, so mm. I think it's good for me if the game is spread <laughs> and Friday night football. What a better time! But I think to, it has survived the test of time. So, and we are so we are so grateful to the FA for uh, this initiative. We've been for so long a time we've been craving for uh, Friday night football. After work, you just want to go relax at the stadium and then watch some good football, at least to beat the traffic uh, yeah, situation in Accra. Yeah, so I'm, I'm so I'm so happy for this game coming up on Friday. But Kumasi Asante Kotoko, yeah, I know a lot of people will be wondering, so how are we going to call them? Accra, Kumasi Asante Kotoko? <laughs> or, 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 or Accra Asante Kotoko. But I think um, 
a lot of decision might have gone into the decision, uh, the, the idea of um, playing in Accra because they know, yes, certainly when you take away Kumasi, their biggest support base is in Accra. Mm -hmm. And they are also trying to uh, uh, balance their books in a way because they've played three games behind closed doors, yeah. no revenue. So this is the time they have to recoup uh, some of the gate proceeds. It's rather unfortunate that they've gone two games without a win. And I think the defeat against Asoka Deportivo uh, should be able to ginger them. And I'm so uh, sure, sure that they will go into the game as wounded lions. And this game against Bechem, uh, this will be, um, I think, the for Kumasi Asante Kotoko to host uh, Bechem United, this will be the ninth encounter. But and this will be the nice. first time they will be playing on a neutral ground. Brecum Chelsea, they have never won against Kumasi Asante Bechem, sorry, Bechem, they have never won against Kumasi Asante Kotoko when Asante Kotoko is playing home to them in the Premier League. So um, uh, if I should stick my neck out for any of the side, I think Kumasa Santi Kotoko and everything that has happened in the past few weeks, I think they will come into the game as wounded lions. And we all know how wounded lions react. They are very, very, very wild and scary. So I think Kumasa Santi Kotoko will run and triumph over Bechem United. I think that another one that we, we would want to talk about will be Akahata Folk against Elmina Sharks. Mm -hmm. I think that mm -hmm. Elmina Sharks are mm -hmm. doing what they have to do on the quiet. Yeah. They're not really paying attention to them, but they are getting the results with their triple B. They have a lot of Benjamins and Bernards. Yes, and they are doing the work mm -hmm. for Coach Yao Champong. I, as I said, I indicated earlier on, they are the most informed side at the moment. Yeah. You know, they have won their past three games on a row, yeah. and it's against Brecum Chelsea, Midyama, and then I, I think Ashgold. Is it Ashgold? I, I'm so not sure so about that. But the top sides, they play yeah. the top sides, and they've won all. That I should, think they'll be going no, their second uh, third travel break, to uh, across the city. They won a double yeah. against the Russian yeah. And then they never lost a game at the Accra Sports Stadium yeah. against Accra Hearts of Folk. Wow. So that should, tell you, that, should, that should tell you that they are not coming as pushovers. And they are certainly not the underdogs. Yes, the name tag suggests they are the underdogs. Mm -hmm. But on paper, they are the favorite against Accra Hearts of Folk. So if Accra Hearts of Folk are to get anything from this game, they must make sure they score. They must make sure mm -hmm. Kofi Koji comes to light on Saturday <laughs> against on Sunday. On Sunday against <laughs> okay. On the road, they've not they they've gone four games without a defeat, mm -hmm. and that should tell you how formidable they are. They, I think, yeah, a champion sets his, his team up not to lose on the on the road. Yeah. No matter what, at, at least they should come. They should come up with a point. So, coach coach Odum must sit up against um, Elmina Sharks because. It's going to be bloody. Just so that win against Gambot is not a fluke? No, it's not, it's not a fluke. They, I think, yes, they switched up things a bit. They used some of their French players. They tried and tested some of, some new system here yeah. and there. But they should go all guns blazing against Elmina Sharks. And Elmina Sharks, see, at the moment, Trinibua even struggles to get cool. a starting lineup. Yeah. He starts from the bench. And that Benjamin Bernard Boatin <laughs> did Triple B. Triple B. <laughs> and their skipper, mm. Daniel Robin. They are superb, they are phenomenal, and they will give a cross of a run for Would that Would you money. want to predict that game? There will be goals, but um, I wish a cross of folk um, wins, but um, I think I'll go for a draw. I with think goal. I'll draw for a draw. With uh, goals? Yeah, with goals. So. Let's quickly look at this game. Um, Ejena starts traveling to the mountains to play Dreams FC. The last time they came back from the African assignment and Dreams beat them 2-0. Well, I, I think the... That, that was their second visit to yeah. the mountains, and they've lost both. Um, so, uh, they've played three times in the Premier League. They've won one at the Doma, where they whitewashed Dreams FC 4-0. <laughs> but they are two visits to the Theatre of Dreams, all ended 2-0, 2-0. So, and Adriana, we all know they are bad travellers. This is indeed their only away win came against um, Accra Great Olympics 1-0 at the Accra Sports Stadium. So, uh, I'm not giving them any chance. Um, I, it may be 
uh, the only um, shine they will get is a goal from um, Yaya Mohamed, but I think they will, they will return with their tail in between their legs. Mm. So clearly it looks like a weekend packed with goals according to James Sowa, predicting goals in the U and also at the Accra Sports Stadium, but the action clearly begins on Friday at the Accra Sports Stadium, so join us.